Graduation is always a special time, but for Whitney Sarek, it's remarkable. Three years ago, her family was told she was one of four Taylor University students who died in this van crash. Family members even held a funeral for Sarek, but it turned out to be a case of mistaken identity. It's something that just didn't seem possible three years ago. In fact, three years ago, we didn't even know that she had survived the accident. So we rejoice uh, with her and her family and, and uh, just really look forward to what this next stage of uh, life holds for her. But Sirak wasn't dead. She was in a coma. But officials thought she was another student, Laura Van Ryn. Van Ryn's family and friends held a constant watch at the hospital until a month later when Sarek awoke from her coma. That's when the truth emerged. Those who thought Van Ryn had survived had to say goodbye. Many of you today are probably wondering how uh, a man could date a girl and love a girl for three years and not know that it was her. I asked myself that same question today and for the last 40 days of my life. Sirak later returned to classes and completed her degree. It's impossible for me to, or really anyone other than Whitney, to say what was the hardest thing for her. But I think the hardest thing really, from my standpoint, and I think others who know her, would be that she was uh, you know, simply got into a van with some friends and, and when she woke up, in the center of this you know, vortex, and, and so uh, you know, the rest of her uh, you know, life has been to, to pick up and put the pieces back together and move forward. She next plans to head to Kenya to help keep young boys away from drugs. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.